Are you making too many unforced errors when you play pickleball? In this video, I'm gonna give you some tips that'll help you avoid those unforced errors and probably win some more games. Hello, my name is Tony Roig. I am a master teaching professional with the IPTPA as well as a pickleball instructor and senior pro player. You may have already guessed by now by seeing these yellow cones on the court what I'm gonna be talking about. But what I'm gonna be talking about in this video is margin of error. Too many players play with a too tight margin of error. That margin of error does not give you any room for any sort of mistake when you hit your shot. What happens is players will play, they'll target basically the sideline or right next to the sideline. Whenever you do that, you're playing with the out of bounds, right? So if I, if I hit the ball super close, I'm risking the out of bounds. What these codes are designed to do is to give you a greater margin of error. These cones are about 18 to 24 inches from the, from the sideline. And we're going to back it up in a second. And you'll see that, that there's some on the baseline as well. That'll give you margin error on the baseline. If you provide yourself a bigger margin of error, guess what? You're going to have less unforced errors. I'm going to show you a couple of shots now and show you what I'm talking about. What players will do is they'll, they'll if they want to attack this side, let's say, they'll take the ball and they'll hit it right at the, at the sideline, right? So there I'm aiming right at the sideline and it went wide. Instead of going to the sideline, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go right at that yellow cone that's near it. So if I go at that yellow cone, right? Boom, almost right on the yellow cone. That's plenty good attack, right? I'm getting the benefit of the attack I'm trying to execute without risking necessarily the ball going out of bounds. Another area where players, they play with a line too much is in dinking. So what they'll do is I get a ball here and I'd say I wanna dink the ball over here. What they'll do is they'll dink it and they'll try and get it right on that line, right? And what ends up happening is you end up going 12, 16 inches out of bounds. Why? Because you're trying to hit it right on that line. Why not aim for the yellow cone, right? Drop it on that yellow cone right there. Actually hit the cone there and give yourself a greater margin of error when you're trying to hit your shots up at the NVZ, dinking and attacking your opponents. We all want to win more games. The key is knowing how to do it. We've put together a win more series where we're going to take you on a journey from the beginning of winning more all the way to a customized action plan specific to you and what you need in order to improve your play and win more games. Registration for the win more series opens in March, but if you're on our email list, you get early registration and you get to get one of the spots before the spots fill up. We're also going to send you an assessment tracker that you can use to figure out where you are now and so that we can customize a specific action plan just for you. I'm gonna put a link down below, join us inside the community, and I'll see you at the series. A last area where players attack too close to the line is at the baseline, deep. There you may, you may be able to tell from the video that the orange cones are a little bit farther in than these yellow cones are from the sideline. It's harder to gauge the distance of your attack to the baseline, so there we recommend three to four foot of margin between the baseline and the cone. So instead of trying to hit that baseline like this, right? That one was in barely, right? So instead of trying to aim for there, why not aim for that orange cone, right? Aim for that orange cone. And even though I was aiming for the orange cone, I missed my mark, right? I was targeting the orange cone. I missed my target, but I had so much margin of error on the side and deep that my ball still lands in. So if you aim for these sort of targets when you're playing, what will happen is sometimes you'll hit them, right? Which is fine. That's a fine shot. Or you'll miss, but your shot will still be in. If you want to work on this, you can use exactly what's set up here. You can go out to the pickleball court and practice some shots. If you give yourself a greater margin of error when you're playing pickleball, you're going to improve as a pickleball player. Now, if you want to know more about this type of thinking, right? Margins of error, marginal advantages on your improvement and things like that, join us in the Pickleball Therapy Podcast and also join us at thepickleballsystem.com. I'll link to it below. Good luck with your game.